hey guys welcome back to my channel and to a let's chat video i feel like it's been forever since i've done one of these i would have used my usual backdrop like i always used to do but my stand is missing some of the pieces right now so y'all just gonna see my bedroom in the back so for today's video i'm going to be talking about some of the misconceptions slash myths of dating single mothers so what made me want to do this video was a video that I came across on TikTok like two or three days ago. And um, I felt like the dude was speaking some facts. So I'm going to quickly play that video for you guys. All right, just going back on my video uh, about dating women with kids. I see some men in the comments saying stupid shit like, I'm not taking care of another grown man's kids. Let me ask y'all motherfuckers something. Who the fuck asked you to? Most grown women with kids or a kid, I'm talking about grown women, the ones who made sacrifices for themselves and they see, so the seed can have a better life, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about those women. Nine times out of ten, they don't fucking want you around their kids anyway, because your ass a creep. She ain't asking you to take care of the kids. She asking you to take care of her, and not financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. You understand? Because she knows what's going on in this world. I'm not talking about these women who out here psychotic with kids, who baby daddy left them because they crazy. And every time the kid come around you, he call you daddy because he don't know his real daddy. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about grown women who had to make sacrifices to better their life. So when I saw this video, I was just like, thank you, but you know what's going on. You know. So I agreed pretty much with everything. The only thing that I slightly disagreed was when he said, she don't want you around her kids anyway because, you know, you a creep. I mean, hopefully you're not a creep because if you were, I probably wouldn't be messing with you. And then when he said, um, you know, that she's looking for somebody to take care of her, you know, emotionally and spiritually, I was like, yes. The financial thing, I agreed that at first, yes, we're not looking for you to take care of us or especially our kids financially. But of course, if, you know, you get into a relationship and it progresses and serves into something more serious where you're maybe moving in together and especially, of course, marriage, then naturally that expectation is going to change. But besides that, um, yeah, I feel like he was pretty spot on. And, you know, y'all know I am obviously a single mom, a daughter of two little girls. Y'all know their dad passed away. Y'all know the story. So, you know, I do often come across memes or posts, you know, from men, some of them positive, some of them a little bit more negative about, you know, dating single moms. And, you know, sometimes I just have to sit back and kind of chuckle. <laughs> and, um, you know, a reoccurring thing that I seem to see a lot is how he said this idea that some guys have, oh, you know, I'm not dating a single mom because I'm not going to be taking care of a grown man's kids. First of all. Whenever I see that, I'm like, pero es un novio o un babysitter que yo estoy buscando? Dime. Like, am I looking for a man or a babysitter? Okay. Second of all, I don't even know if I want you taking care of me yet. Okay. Because I still got to figure that out. Like, are you good for me? So what makes you think I'm over here expecting you to take care of my kids? Like, what? And I think part of the problem is that a lot of times... You know, the dysfunctional baby mamas that are running around out here, they're kind of used as the representatives of all single mothers, which is BS. People are looking at these mothers that are not taking the best care of their kids. A lot of times, I mean, the fathers are not present, but they either constantly dropping their kids off with their mom or looking for, you know, just somebody to kind of dump their kids on. And um, I think something else that you will notice with these mothers is that, is that they are very quick to introduce the men that they date to their kids, which is a big no-no, okay? And something that you will see, and this is something that, you know, I've noticed even with most of my single mother friends who are, you know, on top of this shit and handling their business, is they are very particular when it comes to the timing of introducing men to their kids and honestly i'd be the same way because i think responsible mothers we have the understanding that that in itself can be a risk because not only do we have to kind of scope you out and you know figure out okay are you a good person like can i 
even trust you being around my kids but you know kids get attached too especially when you date somebody for a while like if they're actually you know good with kids and they build a relationship with them you know if down the line y'all end up breaking up i mean the kids are going to feel that too so you kind of want to make sure that um you know this is somebody reliable that will hopefully be around long term before you even think about introducing a man to you know uh, your kids and I think a lot of this mentality is also based on the assumption that the father is like nowhere involved which granted in a lot of cases you know the father won't be there but I think in a lot though they're there to some capacity and if the father isn't there there's somebody else helping so to think that uh, single moms are all out here just looking for somebody to take care of their kid or looking for a man to take care of their kid or kids. I feel like it's just very, un it's just ridiculous to me. Like most of us are not out here on that. I feel like when approaching a single mother, I mean, and that's another thing. And I, and I watched a video about this too, about like kind of like this branding, because when you do brand yourself or brand somebody else as a single mom, it's like you're also attaching yourself to all the negative, I guess, stigma that comes with being a single mother. But um, I feel like it should be treated just like any other relationship. At the end of the day, you're getting into a relationship with me, okay? Like, we need to figure out if we are good for each other, if we work well together, if we complement each other. And then if we decide that, okay, this is a good fit, let's pursue this further, then eventually down the line, of course, then, you know, the kids are introduced and you'll meet them. But even still, okay, it's not going to be like, okay, here are my kids. Now I can drop them off to you and you can watch them and we're going to play house. Like, no, no, no. Okay, it don't work like that either. All right, like these, these things take time or at least they should take time, you know? So again, all these, all y'all dudes out there thinking that uh, if you get with, with a single mom, you're going to be taking care of her kids. No, that is a fallacy. Okay, in most cases, that will never be the case. All right, but... Again, if you end up getting married, then of course that changes stuff, all right? But we're not talking marriage, we're just talking simply dating and just forming a regular relationship, all right? Which goes into the second myth, which is kind of tied into the first, which is that single mothers are all out here looking for somebody to be a father to their kids, okay? So if somebody to fill in that father figure role, which again, in some cases, that is the case. But I feel like with most... um usually the father is there to some capacity okay and like i said before if the father isn't there hopefully there's an, some other type of male figure um now of course my case is a little different because their father isn't here but even still that isn't something i would be looking for right away like at all okay for me to start thinking of that like we'd have to be in a serious relationship and potentially you know talking marriage because at that point you know you're going to be their stepfather and, um, you know, I need to make sure that you'd be a good fit for our family and that you'd actually, you know, look out for them the way a, a father would and give them that that love that a father is supposed to give, you know, to to kids or in my case, to, you know, two little girls. But for the most part, I don't think most mothers out here are necessarily looking for that. OK, but again, we have to make the distinction between these baby mamas and us responsible grown women that are on our shit okay because there is a difference and i feel like some of y'all men don't know how to make that distinction okay y'all keep messing with the baby mamas <laughs> okay that come with all the bullshit versus looking at those of us that are um you know handling our business that are you know responsible and taking care of you know our houses and you know handling our business so i feel like that is what you should be looking at more than the fact that oh this person has a child now another misconception when it comes to dating single mothers is that she's not going to have any time for you whatsoever because all of her time is wrapped around her kids now granted dating when it comes to availability dating a single mother is is not going to be the same as dating somebody with no kids that has really no responsibilities or anybody else to take care of other than themselves so of course the availability is going to be a little less but that's not to say that she won't have any time for you at all 
I think a, you know, a responsible mother, we're already used to kind of scheduling our time and shifting things around to work in certain things. So if we like you, we will make you, you know, we'll make it a priority to fit you into our schedule any way that we can. We'll make sure we find a babysitter. We'll make sure that everything is squared away and we will make that time for you, okay? Sometimes it is hard. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it can be hard, but I feel like if, if the woman isn't really trying to make the time for you then maybe she's just not that into you okay like that's probably the case but yeah like i said if she likes you she will make the time for you and um you know eventually i mean i think some of your dates may include daytime dates with the kids you know it might eventually get to that but at least at first um i don't think that that's always the case i think most mothers will make a time for a man that they actually like now, another myth when it comes to dating single mothers, and well, I think this applies to mothers in general, because I think society is like, okay, on the one hand, women, we complain a lot about the objectification of women and how we're like overly sexualized by men, which is true in a lot of cases we are, but it's like, as soon as you become a mom, it's like, bam, you are no longer desirable, you are no longer attractive, you're no longer allowed to be sexy and all of that. So some guys may have this idea that, um, you know, if you date a single mom, she's not gonna, you know, get as cute for you or she's not gonna put as much time into her looks, etc., etc. okay? Which, as a single mom, okay, it can be difficult sometimes because you are very busy with the kids and stuff. But um, I feel like that's a lie and that's kind of dumb to think that a woman can't or isn't desirable anymore just because she's a mother. Um, I feel like if she's taking care of herself and, you know, t she's hopefully in good health and good shape and, you know, is taking care of her appearance along with everything else, then what's the problem? Um, I don't know why society has this thing where it's like, again, making mothers undesirable you know and i think that is something that a lot of single mothers internalize and you know i'm not gonna lie sometimes i have kind of like that thing in the back of my mind like oh my gosh like what if um like i meet somebody i like him and he likes me but oh my gosh what if he doesn't want to date me because i have kids like is he gonna find me less desirable and all that type of stuff like we internalize that now you know luckily i haven't had too much of an issue with that because you know i do take care of myself or i'm trying to um but i think it's that's definitely um something we need to change and um on the one hand we us women need to let go of that that fear i guess because i mean at the end of the day if a guy doesn't want to mess with you just because you have kids and you know that you're a, a good woman and have a lot to offer then that's their loss honestly i feel like the right guy will be able to um accept you and you know accept the fact that you have kids too and to the men don't think that because you're dating a single mom she's not gonna be out here looking cute and turning heads okay and now something else that I just want to add is that I hear, you know, men saying a lot that they want a woman that is nurturing and compassionate and caring and this and that. And it's like, who is more nurturing and caring than a mother? Like, we naturally possess that. You know, so the point is, y'all, it's about perspective. I think if any of y'all, you know, if you're apprehensive or whatever about dating a single mother like maybe just change your perspective and um look at some of the pluses that may actually come with it you know i'm not going to sit here and say that there aren't maybe some disadvantages that may come with dating a single mom i mean because again it it is it's different um well i want to say it's a disadvantage but it's it's definitely different um there are certain adjustments that you would definitely need to make um and certain things that you may not have to worry about if you're just dating a single woman with no kids. Like, you know, the whole scheduling thing and, um, you know, a woman, we may not be able to just drop everything and meet you up at any time because, again, we're busy and we have kids to tend to. But for the most part, I feel like if you find someone that you connect with, you know, that you genuinely connect with and, you know, you guys get along well, then the fact that there's kids in the picture, it shouldn't be a problem. Now that I remember... I made a post on my Instagram stories a while ago, kind of talking about this subject, 
But um, somebody mentioned to me that some guys are wary of dating single mothers because of the baby daddy, because they don't want baby daddy issues, which I was surprised that, you know, guys are actually worried about this because usually it's the other way around. Usually it's us worrying about messing with a dude with kids because of the baby mama, because a lot of times she still has feelings for him or, you know, she's causing drama or whatever the case is. Um, but apparently some guys worry about that too. So, I mean, with that, of course, that is, again, an, an additional thing that you wouldn't have to worry about if you were dating a single woman with no kids. But I think that's something you would need to kind of examine at the beginning of getting to know this person, um, looking at how her relationship is with the baby's father. But, I mean, I could be wrong. I think for the most part, the baby fathers don't tend to be as messy. Again, I don't, I don't know because my baby father isn't here. But um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that. Because again, I can't really speak from experience when it comes to that. So that was it for this video, guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Whether you are a single mom and kind of what your experience has been with dating. Or whether you used to be a single mom. Or if you're not a mom, just kind of what you've observed from single mothers. Or if you're a guy that is that has dated a single mom or is dating a single mom or if you're apprehensive about dating a single mom leave your comments and feedback down below and i'll check you all in my next one bye